Hey gardening fans, on this episode of Street Smart Gardener, we're going to talk about some of the conifers we have here at the nursery. Now let's be honest, here in the Northeast, six months out of the year, everything is dormant. Not dead, dormant. And there's not much to look at as all our trees lose their leaves. But conifers are the backbone of the landscape and they offer that foundation that your garden deserves. Some interesting ones that we're offering this year at the garden center, a Rainbow Zen Dwarf Alberta Spruce. This gets about eight to 10 feet. And uh, what's interesting about it is it has some gold tip foliage on it. Uh, a nice ground cover that's deer resistant, gets about a foot high, is microbiota or Russian cypress. This here gets a nice purple color in the autumn time. Another interesting plant is the Saunders Blue Alberta Spruce. It's claim to fame and uh, the foliage is blue in color. Something else that's cool that we have this year is uh, microbiota on a standard. So if you want some height in your landscape, you might want to try this. And this is for good for sun and shade. Another nice deer resistant shrub, bird's nest spruce, very popular. The new growth comes out, it's light in color, and then it hardens off to green and gets about three, three and a half feet in diameter. So if you're looking for something that's dwarf, this might be a good choice for you. This is Taylor's Gold Tip Pine. As you can see here, there's nice long needles inside, but the the foliage on the tips is gold in color. Now this one here is a weeping white spruce um, and they get quite tall but it does take some time. They could get up there to 25 feet tall but uh, very slow growing and easy to maintain. And then another nice one we have is Japanese umbrella pine, Cyadopides verticulata. And I'll say that five times fast. I'll tell you. But uh, very interesting. Uh, it doesn't get real large. Uh, I'd plant it in a more protected area. Um, but very cool. Something different. And one we're offering this year that we've been waiting for some time uh, for some friends of ours on the uh, west coast is Cryptomeria, Japanese cedar. And this is deer resistant. Slender, pyramidal in shape. But if you notice, look at the stunted foliage that comes out of it. And if you florists are looking for something different for your arrangement, this is it. I mean, that is cool. So we're very thankful to have this plant. It is very hard to get. But uh, we have it, and we're the only one in the southern tier that does. And finally, we have to talk about our monkey. Oh, uh, what? The monkey puzzle. Oh. Uh, native to Chile, new to us this year. Now, this is a zone six uh, plant, so you'll need to protect it or bring it inside and just keep it in a container garden. A very interesting plant, very distinct shape, scale-like leaves, but very pricky, very sharp. Um, and it's also one of the oldest living trees on earth. So if you're looking for something different in your conifer garden this year, check out the monkey puzzle tree. So if you're thinking about adding a few conifers to your landscape this season, visit us down at WW Nursery and Garden Center. Apple Lake in New York and browse through our huge inventory selection. And remember, you can do it. So let's grow green together.